You go in there as the, as the enemy to go take over, and that's our plan uh, to actually go take over. I think they call it the dog pound. I consider myself a dog, so I'm right at home in that place. So I'm excited to get back in there. And I know they're a physical football team, but so are we. Honestly, I love it. You know, I love a challenge. You know, at the end of the day, you know, I love looking, facing, looking something square in the face and saying, bring it on, bring it on, whatever it is, you know, chin up, chest out. You know, I, I live by that sunsets, no regrets. So I'm looking forward to it and I can't wait. You're considered a bad guy because you're going into essentially another man's house and you're trying to take over like his wife, kids, everyone there to watch them. So you we going over to beat their tails in front of their wife and kids. So when you think about it from that perspective, like any man's going to, you know, fight to the death in that point. I know if that's me in that case, I know I would. So uh, I think about it from that standpoint and I'm just going in, you know, just like I prepare for any other game, play to the whistle play physical and hit anything that move. I feel like Roquan Smith almost deserves some kind of like an award for like the most polite, full, respectful trash talk ever. Uh, this clip has been making its rounds around national media and whatnot. And people are like, oh, my goodness, I can't believe Roquan Smith said that. Oh, he really said that about people, wife and kids and beat them in front of their wife again. And I'm listening to the clip like, did y'all not hear it? Like this, this is Roquan Smith, man. He's like. He's like the, the nicest mean inside linebacker that there's ever been. Like, cause on, on the field, he, he gonna get it done on the field. As we've seen, Roquan Smith, that boy can play. He can play his behind off. That's why Ravens paying him $20 million a year. Um, but when it comes to trash talk, like, I feel like he does it in the most calmest, uh, most modest, uh, and most almost respectful way that you could possibly do it. Like watching that clip, and, and those were just, of course, the cliff notes, and shout out to WJZ Baltimore for providing that. And then, of course, you can see the entire interview on BaltimoreRavens.com, but, and on a YouTube channel as well. But Roquan Smith, like, he ain't say nothing wild. He ain't say anything crazy. Like, he did get some little slick shots in there to the Browns, because he was like, hey, th they, they call it the dog pound, right? And you know what? I feel like I'm a dog myself. I said, all right, okay, Roquan. I, I, I see you with that one. That was, that, was a little, that was a little one. Just a little, little jab right there. But he ain't say nothing out of the ordinary. He talked. To, he did commend them as well. He said uh, they're a physical football team, and so are we. And we know that that's the truth because Ravens defense certainly has been physical. Uh, and the thing that I've appreciated about them is that they've been handling business and they've been missing a lot of people too. And we certainly know the Browns on their end. They definitely uh, been handling business on the defensive side of the ball. I think what they got two games where they gave up three points. And I don't care who you playing. This is the NFL, baby. This is the NFL. So for you to give up three points in two different games, that that's insane. Uh, especially against Joe Burrow and the, and the Bengals. But anyway, uh, something else that he talked about, too. Uh, he said that he loves a challenge. Now, I don't think somebody would say they love a challenge if something weren't going to be challenging. And we know the Browns are certainly going to present uh, their challenges to these Baltimore Ravens this week because they are a good team. They're a good team. Uh, and they will, they're will they going to make the Ravens work, man. They're going to make their offense and the defense work like crazy. Uh, but Ravens, hey, Roquan Smith, he, he, he d talked his respectful trash. Uh, and it's time for the Ravens to back it up. It's time for them to back it up against Cleveland. And, and with the Ravens, I don't even think that um, the biggest concern is Ravens defense because Ravens defense has been doing a pretty good job. Uh, in week one, they held the Texans to, what, nine points, I think. Uh, in week two, the Cincinnati Bengals, they held them to 17 points. I know they scored 24, but seven of that came on the punt return. That's why I say 17 points for the defense. And then uh, on the, the game against the Colts, what was it? Ended up being 19-16, I think. And with that game against the Colts, they like they were content. They continue to be put in bad positions uh, a lot by the offense. There were the turnovers by the offense, all the fumbles, then the, all the miscues and whatnot. The offense just could not consistently get it together that game. And the defense kept giving them chance after 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 chance. But the offense was like, man, we 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 ain't got you this game. We sorry. We, we, we can't do it this game. Um, so and then, of course, there were a little missed calls here and there. But the defense, they did what they had to do, and they've been doing it. So 
I can understand why Roquan Smith has all the confidence in the world uh, in this Baltimore Ravens defense right now. But then there was one part uh, of what he was saying that really got some people going. Uh, and he said, you're the bad guy because you're going into another man's house and essentially trying to take over. His wife and kids are there to watch them. We're going over there to beat their tails in front of their wife and kids. And any man's going to fight to the death at that point. So um, basically just saying like, look, it's like somebody going into your house and 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 trying to beat you in front of your family. Like, and on the football field, of course. Um, but that's what they're doing. They're they going into the Browns' house. They're going into their stadium, and they're going to be trying to beat them in front of their family. They're going to be trying to win a game in front of their family. Now, I felt like that part may have gotten taken a little out of context and whatnot. Um, I, I think it was really the wording that he said, because that, that's some very sensitive wording right there, Roquan. Um, but if, if you watched it, and, and look, you see Roquan, you listen to Roquan, so you start to feel like you kind of know where Roquan's coming from. It's like, oh, okay, I, I, I get what you meant. And then he finished that up he say we play to the whistle play physical and hit anything that moves but it's like look when you read those words on a, on a paper on a screen written down and in notes and whatnot you can read that and be like whoa man somebody really said that but then context is important because you listen to Roquan Smith say it. you're like oh okay he he's a pretty nice guy He's he's really nice, but so it's just again. I think it was just made a bigger deal uh, than what it is. But regardless, it's out there. He said it, and it's up to the Ravens to to back it up. They they gotta back it up. This defense gotta come with it. The offense gotta show up this week in a way bigger way than they did last week. Cause Browns they, they ain't gonna take the Ravens lightly. The, the, the Browns, they, they know what this is. They know what this means, especially so early in the season. This is such a big game for both teams. Um, because while it's not the end-all, be-all, whoever loses this game is going to be at 500. They're going to be at 2-2. Two and two. Whoever wins this game, they're going to be sitting at not only 3-1, and one, but at the top of the AFC North. So that'll give you a nice little boost of confidence early on in the season. And again, not that all confidence is lost if whoever for whoever loses this game. But you want to take care of business early on. So that'll make it easier and set you up easier easier for later so this should be a really 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 fun one I, i'm excited to see how this one goes because it's an away game it's the afc north game and you never know what happens in these things